Are we ready to go? It's rolling. Oh, yep, yep. Did, we're good. You didn't tell me. That was a thumbs up. I didn't see it. Hi class, welcome to the Hepburn calculation video. Um, we are going to go over three different problems. This is our first problem. Um, the instruction says to calculate the heparin bolus dose in units and amount in milliliters for a patient weighing 133 pounds. The instructions also state that we should round kilograms to a whole number. So the first thing that we need to do is take that 133 pounds and convert it to uh, kilograms. And we know we take 133 divided by 2.2 which should equal 60 kilograms with our rounding. So we know that 60 kilograms is what we use to replace here and here for our calculations. So we'll just raise this. Part of the question is the order. We have an order for heparin bolus, 85 units per kilograms to be administered IV. We need to calculate what is the dose, and that dose is going to be in units because that's um, the measurement unit for heparin. It's not milligrams, it's in units. So in order to do this calculation, we multiply 85 units times are 60 kilograms. And that equals 5,100 5, units. So this is our desired dose. So then we move on to the next step. What do we have available? Well, our on hand is heparin 10,000 units in one milliliter, and the instructions is to round your dose um, or your milliliters to be administered to the tenth position. So this is your standard formula for calculating how much medication to give to a patient. So we're going to put our desired dose, 5,100 units, over what do we have available? 10,000 units times our volume of one milliliter. So after you do this, you should come up with half of a milliliter. So 0 0.5 milliliters is what we're going to administer to the patient, and that is equal to the 5,000 units. So that's step two. We've got one more part to do, and that is calculating our maintenance dose. So the maintenance dose is 12 units per kilogram per hour. So our uh, answer is going to be in units per hour, and that's going to be our infusion dose. So for this part, you again take 12 units, times your 60 kilograms. And that should equal 720. And it should be units per hour. And we get that from this and this. So our answer here is 720 units per hour. And those are the three answers and the method to finding those answers for the first question. Moving along, this is question number two, and the practice question states, calculate the heparin maintenance infusion rate in units per hour and milliliters per hour 
for a patient weighing 145 pounds. And the instructions also state to round kilograms to a whole number. So the first part of this practice problem is our order. Our order is for heparin uh, maintenance dose, 10 units per kilogram per hour. And we need to figure out how many kilograms the patient it weighs and plug that into this formula. So we have to take that 145 and divide it by 2.2, which comes to 66 kilograms when we round it to whole kilograms, as the instructions say. Our next step is to take those 10 units times 66 kilograms per hour, which equals 660 units per hour. So that's our first answer. With our second part of this question, we have to calculate how many milliliters to administer. So this is our standard formula again, where we have our desired dose of 660 units. And what do we have available? We have heparin 1,500 units in a volume of 250 milliliters. And when we do our calculations, it works out to 11 milliliters per hour. And just a reminder, this works because units cross each other out, leaving milliliters an hour behind. So for this question, it's 11 milliliters per hour. So uh, you could take either of these answers and use it to uh, uh, say what your patient's hourly dose rate is. This would be in units and this would be in milliliters. When we program an IV pump, it will tell us both of these information and that's how we know we've programmed it correctly. And class, this brings us to practice question number three, and this is different from the first two because what we're being asked in this question is different. This question is, uh, you have 250 milliliters of D5 normal saline with 10,000 units of heparin infusing at 20 milliliters an hour. The IV set delivers 20 drops per milliliter, and the question is, how many units of heparin is the patient receiving each hour? So this question gives us some extra information that we don't really need to answer the question. What we need to know in order to answer the question is how many units of heparin is infusing? So for that, it really comes down to, we have a bag of fluid, and in this bag of fluid, it contains 250 milliliters of liquid, and within that 250 milliliters of liquid, there's 10,000 units. Now, if we need to know if it's infusing at 20 milliliters an hour, how many units that dose is, what we really need to know is how many units are in one milliliter. And that's what we can find out by using this information. So what we do is we take that 10,000 units and divide it by our volume. And that's going to give us how many units per milliliter, and it's 40 units per one milliliter. And from there, we do step two, and that's where if we have 40 units in one milliliter, how many do we have 
in 20 milliliters. So it's 40 units times 20 milliliters, and that's going to give us 800 units per hour because we know it's milliliters per hour. Okay? So the answer to this question is how many units of heparin is infusing? Well, there's 800 units infusing every hour. And that's how we solve that equation. So really to be successful in answering heparin calculation questions, you have to understand what information is provided and how do I use that information to get the answer that we're looking for. So you really need to be able to filter out that extra information and focus in on what do these numbers represent and how can I use them to figure out where I need to go. I hope watching me solve these problems helps you with your future calculations and please contact me if you would like to work on any additional calculations in person. Thank you.